Hello everybody and welcome back to another video here on the Monkey Games Lot channel. I am your host Monkey Master and as you can see I'm back here giving you another video in our Tutorial Tuesday series. So for the past couple of weeks I have been unable to upload a tutorial video so you would expect me to in that time be perfecting um, this automatic watermelon farm that we've been making here. However, I've been unable to do that and I can't figure out how to do it right now. So for now, this is a work in progress. So I'll just get a sign. Sign, ready, ready, this. This here is a work in progress. Um, so I haven't been able to figure out how to, um, how to successfully do that yet. Um, so today, and we're making something a little bit different and we're teaching you how to make an or another automatic farm which works for give me a minute um carrots potatoes um normal um like wheat and beetroots so th these are the different foods that this type of automatic farm works for it's a very easy automatic farm to make um it's literally everything is automatic in this farm. It, it is absolutely amazing. Um, we'll need a couple of buttons here. Um, and depending on what you want to build it out of, I'll just grab some oak wood here. Oh, no, I don't literally need two buttons. <laughs> We're in creative mode here. Um, so you want an, an area that's basically eight blocks along. Um, that is optimal length oh you'll also want actually some hoppers as well um so if i like do these dispensers this length along here so eight so one two three four five six seven eight and then if i do the same along here one two three four five six seven eight there we go um so that's that and then underneath all these blocks, you want to basically um, place down the water. Um, so if I get a, a bucket of water here, um, we can get rid of these seeds for now, I think. Um, so you, if you do that and then cover it up like that, um, so if you do that like that and the actually you only need to put the water on one side and then you also want some um dispensers there and that's what you want it to look like at the moment so you want a button or oh, actually it might be better if you have a wooden button just because it's easier to distinguish between the um the hopper no not the hopper the dropper and the um the actual button and then on top of these you just want to place down redstone but you need to make sure that this redstone does not activate these two dispensers at the back it needs to activate all those dispensers there but if it activates these dispensers at the back you know you need to change it so there we go that doesn't activate the dispensers at the back as not what you want it to do and then what you want to do is you want to cultivate the land so you want to go to tools you want to grab yourselves a hoe. I've just grabbed a diamond hoe because I was rushing. And you'll see some of the water down there. And that will just make it show it doesn't go back to normal land. It'll stay as cultivated land. Um, so if you do it like that. And then um, you need to plant all the seeds in these la this land here. But that is what these come, come in for. So... If I just get rid of all of this for now, only for now, and get out some, a few stacks of carrots, a couple stacks of potatoes, um, maybe a couple more stacks of carrots, and a couple more stacks of potatoes, and I'll fill this, oh no, we want, and I'll fill this side up with carrots and potatoes. And one second, if I just pop some potatoes in here, so it should be alternating carrots and potatoes and then potatoes in here and if I get um, go into here I get one two three four of wheat seeds and oh no did not mean to do that and um, five six seven eight of beetroot seeds 
And then if I go wheat, wheat, wheat. You don't necessarily have to do it like like this. You could you could essentially have one farm just for carrots, one farm just for beetroot, one farm just for potato. I've just done it like this because I'm not going to make a, a farm for each individual one. But if you watch, oh, that wasn't supposed to happen. Maybe it'll work on this side. Oh, oh no. They're supposed to like plant themselves. Why do they not plant themselves? It's not working. Um, Maybe if I get a block and put the block there, will that work? No, it just, ah. Well, it's worked before. And what I've done is basically like, um, put the put the um different types of um seed in these dispensers and then it's basically fired them out and planted them um but maybe there's been like an update which has meant that um that doesn't work anymore something like that um so sorry about that um that has definitely worked bef for me in the in the past there's obviously just been like some changes made to the game um but we've still got this area at the back um to deal with so i'll just get rid of that i'll get my oak wood back out yeah i do apologize about that obviously apparently it's not completely automated you will have to do we'll have to plant the plant the plants by hand if you know of a way that you can like um plant the plants automatically um in this version of minecraft then um do go ahead and like use it in this build um but basically what you need to do this this is the main automatic bit you can basically um get all the plants to run down towards you and oh no oh no i forgot i do still need the water don't i if i just put a few blocks of water here one second e water i will need actually two buckets of water in the end so i'll just get those out like that and some cultivated farmland there we go and in fact i do need two buckets of water one in each dispenser so now when i hit this button the water will come out go down wash all the plants down like basically destroy them and then they can go into some hoppers here like that and then they can go into a lovely big chest like that so when you open the chest they should do that and um i want some slabs so none of them like go go missing there you go and you have some slabs like that and of course you can you can always you can always like not necessarily do this here you could like um run it under the ground providing you like had the um water on the other side um than to the button thing um so here did it if you did it like that um you, that could always like make it look prettier but like um you might want some glowstone just so at night um they stay growing as they would during the day um but this is like really good like if you were going off on an adventure um to find something new maybe you were going to look for the end portal something like that um, this is something um, that you can literally come back to. You don't have this massive big field that you need to go break, 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 break. Like if you need to, if you're coming back and you're really hungry, you can just go boom, 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 boom. You've got all your food like that. And I will just demonstrate it working quickly just before the end of the video. I have to um, bone meal all of these to, um, um, to adult seeds. If I get some bone meal really quickly. Um... There we go. Got some nice, um, fully grown wheat plants now. Um, we got just a few more seconds before I start doing the intro. I'll do the intro to hopefully this working absolutely perfectly. So I hope you have enjoyed this episode here um, in our tutorial Tuesday series. If you have, make sure you check out the link in the description, which will take you straight to the next episode in our tutorial Tuesday series. However, until then, I will be seeing you all later. Goodbye!